well, there are several ways to recover our device. But in this video tutorial we are going to explain a totally different method. A method without a PC, for those people who are always looking for a method without a PC. Well today go here you will be able to recover your device with this video tutorial. We are going to use a totally different method where the previous one we did it through the PC. Other methods totally by PC and without PC. Different from this one we will leave it in the description of the video and in the first. Pinned comment we will be leaving it for those people who want and are looking for other additional methods. A what are we going to do in this video tutorial we are going to connect. What is the Wi-Fi network first of all to give you the tour of our device? This so you can see that our device is totally locked since. It has a screen lock also finally it has the forgotten Gmail Google account. As we can see we also had a method where we entered. A call here an emergency call we wrote asterisk numeral zero. Asterisk numeral here we enable a DB debugging. A we had other video tutorials we also have it in the description of the video you will also be able to find where you will also be able to find other methods as well where we could enable a DB debugging and with a program with a single click we could also recover it. But on these devices those updates are no longer working. Now what we are going to do is the following. We are going to connect what is a network of Wi-Fi to start the recovery process. Let's start the recovery process. Let's connect to a Wi-Fi network when we connect to the network. We're going to give it a tour. What happened to our phone? Well, the first thing we did was change the screen lock. But after a minute we had forgotten that screen lock. So what we did first, what we did was reset our phone. We formatted it, after we formatted it, it was like this. Ah uh, with it blocked now it not only has the screen lock but it also has the Google account also forgotten since we uh did not write down when we created the Google account we did not write down that Google account that is why it is always advisable when we create a Google account. It is advisable to write it down so that this does not happen because well the screen lock that we forget is fine. But if we forget a Google account it is too much. Because why? Because it is always advisable to write down the account also the password. Also something that I also want us say so. That you can recover your device faster. When we create a Google account they give us an alternative to add a phone number. It is always important to add a phone number to our device. The phone number helps us recover our phone. If you do not remember the email with the number, only with the phone number you will be able to recover it. Here apart from that it also gives us a second option to add an alternative email. We always recommend that the alternative emails are not on the same phone. Because that happens, this happens that we forget the screen lock, we format it. Then the alternative email I always recommend that it be from a relative. Already a relative or someone close, add an alternative email, it can be his. The persons and add it when they create a Google account. There it gives us the option to add a recovery email. That is called, recovery email, that would help us that when this happens. When this happens that it will ask us for time. We will click here where it says do not copy, it will ask us what the lock is screen. Of course it will always be there and the other would be the Google account. Here we have a lock pin here it says use my Google account. So having that what we are going to do is recover it through. That email, if you do not have the email here it tells us email or phone number either of the two options we will be able to recover it here. 
it tells us to forget Gmail. Here if you do not remember you also click on forget you write the phone number. Here we are going to write anything here we are also going to write anything. Here also versus write anything here we are going to do this for about 30 seconds. This is to help us enable a function later. We are going to enable this by giving it about 30 seconds here. That is why we always recommend the video tutorial step by step. If we forget something it is because you fast forwarded the video tutorial. If it did not work for you it is because you fast forwarded that video tutorial. If so step by step you will be able to do it exactly as. We explain it in how we are explaining it. In this video tutorial there is no cut. We do not make any cuts because there are always people who tell us the video is cut. You cut the video. People always say that suddenly the method doesn't work for them. Suddenly they don't do what we're saying in the video tutorial, they always come up with. That story. So let's go back. Let's go back to home, to home. To home, we'll click on accessibility here. Well here the accessibility menu appears. Well, then we click forward. We click forward here, we click here where the Wi-Fi network is. We'll click here where it says add new network. Sorry here add new network gives us. Well let's click off first here, here it gives us the QR code option. Let's select the QR code, we click here in the gallery. Previously this method also worked on another device. This method already worked. What we did, press here and from here it took us to the following settings. But since the updates are always updating, this method here is no longer working, then it no longer works. Look here is the model of our phone now, so we go back. Back and what we're going to do here is click here on this plus. We'll click to this little nut that appears here, we click on it. We're going to click here, we're going to click here. We're going to enable only and we're going to download these according to your language. They're going to download everything to the language that you have on your phone. Download the language of your phone. There are three, there are always three, ready, they are already enabled. We're going to click here, we update them, ready, we go back. Back. Well, here we turn off this option, we go back. We turn this one off too. We go back, we also turn this one off, we go back. Back and here we are going to click on we are going. To reset these two options that appear here. We re-establish these two options, now what we are going to do is restart our phone. Now what we are going to do is wait for our phone. To restart completely and then complete the recovery process. Now we are going to enter to recover our device with a single click. Which we are going to use, we are not going to use the PC, as we had said from the beginning. We are not going to use the PC in this video tutorial. Totally without method PC, quick and easy method. If you follow this video, tutorial step by step without advancing, you will be able to solve the definitive recovery of your device without having to use the PC. You will not be able to use the PC in this video tutorial and you will be able to successfully. Let's wait for them to restart and now be attentive, what are we going to do now? Well, let's go, as people always say that these video tutorials are always cut off, that we never do these videos. A complete. That's the first thing people say when suddenly, A, it's not working for them. Look how we can see here we still have the little padlock, A, when something doesn't work for them. Why doesn't it work for them? Because they don't watch the video tutorial step by step. 
They always fast forward and fast forward and fast forward, and so they lose. They lose a detail, they lose the best part, I would say. This is the best part because if they did it, if they did the first thing, it's already missing. Now let's do this as people always say no phone is unlocked because well here it has the little padlock at least that one has a little padlock but at the beginning it didn't have it but since we reset everything from those settings it appears to us. And that's how it appears. But ah, uh, well, here here we are going to get to where no. Where the Google account appears. Look carefully so that they don't say that later that this method doesn't work. And that phone doesn't have the Google account because they always write that. No, it doesn't have the Google account and we are showing the screen lock. The Google account, so I don't understand that. Let's wait for it to take us to the point, here the option not to copy will appear. We click next, it takes us to the screen lock. Then we click where it says use Google account and from there is where the method will start. The method starts directly from where we have the account blocked. So we are going to wait a few more seconds, we are not going to pause the video tutorial. We are going to wait until it takes us directly where it says do not copy here. We click where it says do not copy, now it takes us to the Google account. Now it takes us to the Google account. The screen lock sorry and here we are going to click where it says use Google account. Well this is where we have we are going to do. The process here where people say that the phone is not locked. Look carefully it is not pavilion so that you can see that we are not going to make any cuts. We are going to disconnect the Wi-Fi network. I am going to disconnect my Wi-Fi network that I have right here. If it has a SIM card remove that SIM card, look it has already been erased. Now we give it a single click back. Now we click where it says do not copy and pay close attention. Here is the little lock here are the Google services. We are going to accept and we are going to wait here the lock will appear. Here we are going to click skip and wait. Wait so that you can see here how that little lock that we have there is eliminated. That little lock has already been erased. Now you can correctly enter your device without needing to. Look here the little lock still appears here the last thing is now it is being eliminated. It has already been completely eliminated. Then well, for those who are always supporting us. Subscribe to our channel, activate the bell. Give a big like, leave a nice comment, and share our video tutorials.